Hello, welcome back to the course Data Structures and Applications. In the last session, we discussed the need of two-dimensional arrays and its terminology and also how to declare and initialize them and also its memory representation. In this session, we will discuss on multidimensional arrays. An array is a sequenced collection of elements of the same data type with the single identifier name. Arrays can also have multiple axes. Each axis is a dimension. A two-dimension array is commonly known as a table. Example, a spreadsheet like Excel is a two-dimensional array. In real life, there are occasions to have data organized into multiple dimension arrays. Consider a theater ticket with section, row and seat, which is a three dimension. Next, let's see how to declare a multidimensional array in C. A multidimensional array is declared using the syntax shown. Data type is the type of the items in the array. So it can be int, float, character, etc. So array name is the name to represent the array. So S1 is the size of the first dimension, S2 is the size of the second dimension, S3 is the size of the third dimension and Sn is the size of the nth dimension. Let's consider the example int survey of 3, 3, 5, 12. So total memory is 3 into 5 into 12 into the size of the integer. So in the above example, Array survey may represent a survey data of rainfall during the three years from January to December in five cities. If the first index denotes the year, the second index city and the third index month, the three-dimensional array can be represented as a series of two-dimensional arrays as shown. Next. How to find the size of the multidimensional array? Consider in this example, int designates the array type integer. Table is the name of a 3D array. So array can hold 500 integer type elements. This number is reached by multiplying the value of each dimension. In this case, 5 into 5 into 20 is equal to 500. The representation of 3D array is shown. Here, there are three two-dimensional arrays. Advantage of arrays. Arrays can be used to store numerous values of the same data type. Then programmer is freed from creating many variables. A single array of the required size can be created. Reading and writing from mind to the array is simple that is loops can be used for this purpose. Next is disadvantage of the arrays. A single array cannot store heterogeneous data that is data of different data types. Arrays demand contiguous memory location to store the data and size of the array has to be mentioned at the beginning of the program itself. This may lead to inefficient memory utilization since all the reserve space may not be utilized. Addition and deletion of the elements at the middle of the array is problematic. Before we conclude this session, following are some of the major points that were discussed. Need for the multidimensional array, declaration and initialization and also the memory representation of multidimensional arrays. In our next session, we will start the course with structures. Thank you. Happy learning.